the history of the Festiniog Railway begins in the early years of the 19th century. At that time, this part of Wales was no more than a remote mountain area, whose inhabitants scraped a meagre living from poor farmland, which gave little promise of industrial wealth. The arrival in the area of William Alexander Maddox in 1798 was to transform the landscape and the lives of the people who lived there. Maddox's adventurous land reclamation schemes almost left him bankrupt. One of them involved the construction of a great embankment known as the Cobb, designed to block off the sea estuary of the River Glaslin. After four years of hard labour, the Cobb was finally completed in 1811. Maddox soon turned his attention to exploiting the infant slate industry and started to develop the area around the present-day Blynau Festiniog. He seized on the chance to create a port for shipping the slate produced in the quarries. Transport to this newly formed port was to be by gravity railway, which began construction in 1828. Reminders of the Stevenson pre-steam style are clearly seen on the Festiniog Railway. Notably, the adoption of a route enabling the loaded slate trains to travel down by gravity and the use of dandy wagons, in which the horses employed to haul the empty slate wagons up the line, rode down behind the loaded trains. <laughs> 